In this lesson, we're demonstrating using Flash and ActionScript 3 how to create a progress bar and progress text to let your site visitors know how much of the SWF is loaded into their browser so they don't see a blank area on the screen for any amount of time. Um, if you guys have any trouble seeing our uh, movements, anything we click on, our ActionScript code, or anything like that, you can go to developphp.com and check out our Flash tab there, and you'll see the video tutorials we have available. That's developphp.com. You can also join our forum and post up questions if you have any. Okay, so the three layers we have here are actions, load bar and load text, and movie content. Now on the movie content layer, you notice we have two keyframes here already made. And uh, what we're going to do is select keyframe 2 and put all of our content there. If you already have content down in your uh, on your stage on keyframe 1, and maybe you have a whole bunch of layers down through here just make a new keyframe on keyframe uh, on frame 2 and drag your content into keyframe 2 uh, effectively clearing out keyframe 1 all the way through there okay so I'm gonna go into the library and drag out a, a big giant image I have there to give me something good and beefy to load up and uh, now I'm gonna select the load bar and load text layer and keyframe 1 now on keyframe 1 there is we're going to build our progress text and progress bar and uh, we're going to select the text tool and throw out a dynamic text field there and center it up on stage best you can and we're going to make sure the instance name for that is my load text down in the properties inspector and we're going to make sure it says dynamic text there. Make sure it's black to see it on a white canvas. Whatever font you want. Make sure it's center aligned. Um, make sure it's single line. I think multi line will work here, but single line is what we're going for. Um, and that's it for that. Now we can build our um, little progress bar, and that's going to be a movie clip. So we're going to start building that movie clip with a rectangle primitive drag that onto the stage and resize it go down to the properties inspector in the width put two pixels in the height put eight pixels so you'll have a little sliver there a rectangle primitive sliver right click it and convert it to a symbol now we're going to convert this to a movie clip symbol with a registration to the left and we're going to name it whatever we want here because this is what it's going to be named in our library and not in our action script code so it doesn't matter what you name it there and press OK. Now we have a movie clip symbol. We're going to give that an instance name of my load bar. So now we have my load bar and my load text. And uh, this is going to grow to be 200 pixels wide. So we're going to have to have some position referencing of where it's going to grow to uh, when it's fully extended so we know it's in the middle. So let's just drag out for position reference in sake another rectangle primitive tool and we're going to make that 200 pixels wide so this way we'll know exactly where this thing is going to wind up after it's fully grown so we can center it that looks about right now once that's there oops once that's there grab your movie clip symbol again and make it perpendicular to that underneath it then highlight the uh, or select the the one we pulled out for position referencing and control X and that'll get rid of that move this guy up a little bit and now we know it'll grow right under that dynamic text field right where it should be in the middle okay so now that it's set up we have instance name there instance name on that we're good to go so now we'll show you the action script code to make this all possible in keyframe 2 this is uh, the one that corresponds to where all of our content is here's the code for that it's a simple stop action Now show you that one more time okay now uh, the keyframe one where all the dynamics is happening that drive this text field and this movie clip is this and if you have any uh, you can pause it right now and type all this into your uh, actions panel and by the way you get into your actions panel by pressing F9 and that opens your action script panel and you press F9 again to close it but uh, you would pause it right now and type all this into your uh, keyframe one on the actions layer and if you have any questions about what this code is doing or you can't see it fully you can uh, just go ahead and join our forum post up a question there 
or watch the video like I said on the uh, on the main site back at developphp.com and you'll see it real clear and big okay and that wraps everything up when you save this file and publish it load it up to your web server you'll see you have preloader or uh, loading indication functionality for your site visitors okay we'll see you next lesson